next what i want to talk to you about is uh, let's say let's name this as example 3 and this program is uh, let's select one so this one is done i want to do something with uh, digits so let's take uh, this one so what's the problem statement you have to input a five digit number write a program to calculate the sum of its digits so pretty straightforward program again uh, whatever objective is given there is pretty clear so this is problem number nine so if you have a number such as say one two three four five what the program asks you to do is calculate this sum so all the digits need to be summed up to give you the result that would be your output Now, one hint is provided that you have to use the modulus operator. What happened here? So, delete this. So, this modulus operator needs to be used what is the function of the modulus operator anybody what does the modulus operator do Sir, it, remainder. 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 it provides the remainder so once this number has been taken from input then somehow we have to use this modulus operator to devise a program that gives us the sum so i have to obtain the sum of digits how we can approach this is obviously i will take this number let's take a four digit number and consider this as a test case so what would be the answer here value and what would be the answer here This is, this is one that is four four or is it 234 yes sir. it's a remainder right it's not four so it's 234 so that is one step okay i have got one so i have separated out one note that in the next step i'll do divided by 100 here you have 2 and here you have 34 do it again with the remainder but this time divide with 10 this is an integer division so this is 3 And this is 4. So as you can see, I have separated out 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I can quite easily add them up together to get the final value. Now here, obviously, one thing needs to be considered is that I am doing the same operations. Integer division here integer division here and again here modulus operation here here and here 
So I'm repeating this. So this is a good candidate for using loop or repetition. However, we have not yet covered this topic of loops in our class. So I'll refrain from using that. You can very easily generalize this program in order to consider n digit numbers. So it can be generalized for n digits, meaning it could be for two digits or it could be for nine digits as well. And for that, you will require to use repetition, repetition structure in the form of either for loop or while loop, whichever is convenient. This will come back to once we have learned about loops, but for today, I'll just use a linear programming structure. Linear program structure means it starts at the top, finishes at the bottom. And none of the statements, none of the lines would be executed twice. Obviously, in case of a loop, a certain block of statements are repeatedly executed. That's why it's called repetitions. If this program is given in general, then it's always, my uh, suggestion would be to always go for the loop structure, but not for today's class. In today's class, I'll just show you how you can do this without using the loop. But while I do this, I'll ask from you for inputs. Okay, again, we go back to our standard basic file. Once we have opened this. Now we use int because we have to go for an integer number. I'll come back to it as we introduce uh, other uh, variables, integer variables. Enter a four digit number. I know that in the problem, it's five digits, but uh, let's go for less amount of work, less amount of codes to write. Now here the type specifier is percentage D. Now what to do? Now let's say use this variable n underscore dig. It's short for digits. Also another variable is number. is the modulus operator. So I've got this separate out the first digit and the rest of the number without the first digit. So what should be added? The digit should be added. So n sum that would be equal to now let's put these variables also here use quite a bit first one second one 
and the third one can also be initialized to zero. By the way, any other way of writing this line? Can you think of any other way of writing this particular line? N sum plus equal to this. Yes. N sum plus equal to means the same thing. Okay. So it means So we'll copy this. And the next step this is going to be a hundred, and this is not going to be number. What is this going to be? If you look at it here, whatever is the remainder at the end of the first step, that is being divided in the next step. So this is 34, that is the remainder that goes here. So quite obviously here we will replace the number with this. This part remains the same. The third time. This is going to be 10. So you have added up three digits like this. If you consider this example, then we have added 1 plus 2 plus 3. What is remaining is here. And that is the answer to the remainder of the last expression. I can easily do this and sum is equal to this notation remainder. And that should give us the sum of all the digits. Sum of the digits. is percentage D Problem number was nine. nine. Let's run this. Okay, it's the problem. Is a T missing? So now there are no errors and warnings. You can run this, do the same simple example. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and the sum of the digits is 10. Write with another one. Now this is 14. So as I was saying that this can be generalized, you can 
generalize this by putting it inside a reputation structure. How it can be done? I will uh, show you after uh, we have uh, studied the loop structure in detail. However, what I can do is I can show you uh, one program that one of your friends has written and sent to me. And there you will have some idea about how it can be generalized. So this is uh, not exactly the same program. This is program uh, problem number 11, where you need to add digits to the, or add the digit one to the each of uh, the digits of the number and get a fresh number. 